Hello, welcome to biology, the center study of life. Capillary function at any given time, only about 5 to 10 percent of the body's capillaries have a blood flowing through them. However, each tissue has many capillaries, so every part of the body is supplied with blood uh, at all times. Capillaries in the brain, heart, kidneys, and liver are usually filled to capacity, but in many other sites, the blood supply varies over time as blood is diverted from one destination to another. After a meal, for instance, blood supply to the digestive tract increases. Uh, during a strenu uh, strenuous uh, exercise, blood is di uh, diverted for, from the digestive tract and supplies more generously to skeletal muscles and skin. This is one reason that exercising heavily immediately after eating a big meal may cause indigestion. Two mechanisms regulate the distribution of blood in capillary beds. Both depend on smooth muscles controlled by nerve signals and hormones. In one mechanism, contraction of the smooth muscle layer in the wall of an arterial constricts the vessel, reducing its diameter and decreasing blood flow through it to capillary bed. When the muscle layer relaxes, the arterial dilates, allowing blood to enter the capillaries. In the other mechanism, rings of a smooth muscle called precapillary sphincters because they are located uh, at uh, the entrance to capillary beds. Uh, control the flow of the blood between arterioles and venules. Notice this figure, close a lot. Uh, the, crit the critical exchange of substances between the blood and the interstitial fluid that bathes the cells takes place across the thin endothelial walls of the capillaries. Some substances may be carried across an uh, endothelial cell in viscous that form by endocytosis in one side of the cell and then release their con contents by uh, exocytosis on the opposite side. Others simply diffuse between the blood and uh, the interstitial fluid. Small molecules such as O2 and CO2 diffuse down concentration gradients across the endothelial cells. Diffusion can also occur through the clefts between adjoining cells. However, transport through these clefts occur mainly by bulk flow uh, due to fluid pressure. Blood pressure within the capillary pushes. Fluid consisting of water and small solutes such as sugar, salts, O2, and uh, urea uh, through the capillary clefts. The outward uh, movements of this fluid causes a net loss of, uh, a net loss of fluid from the um, upstream end of the capillary near an arterial. Blood cells suspended in the blood and mass uh, proteins dissolved. In the, uh, in the blood are too large to pass readily through the endothelium and remain the capillaries. And the blood proteins remaining uh, in the capillaries, especially albumin, create approximately constant osmotic pressure from the arterioles to the venual end of um, capillary bed. In contrast, blood pressure drops sharply. This difference between blood pressure and osmotic pressure drives fluids out of capillaries at the arterial end and into capillaries at the venual end, as shown in this figure. This figure. About 85% uh, of the fluid that leaves the blood at the arterial end of a capillary bed uh, re-enters uh, from the end interstitial fluid at the venous end and the remaining 15 percent uh, is eventually returning to the blood by the vessels of the lymphatic system um, notice also uh, blood flow in capillary beds uh, bricabillary uh, sphincters regulate the passage of blood into capillary beds, some uh, blood uh, blood follows directly from arterioles to venial um, to venules through capillaries called thoroughfare channels, which are always open. Notice that. Uh, and sphincters contracted, and this one sphincted relaxed. Notice the differences between.
Fluid returns by the lymphatic system. So much blood passes through the capillaries that the accumulation, the accumulation, accumulative loss of a fluid adds up to about 4 liter per day. There is also some uh, leakage of blood proteins, even though the capillary will, um, the capillary wall is not. Um, is not very permeable to large molecules. The lost fluid and proteins return to the blood via the lymphatic system. Fluid enters this system by diffusing into tiny lymph capillaries uh, intermingled among capillaries of the cardiovascular system. Once inside the lymphatic system, the fluid is called lymph. Its composition is about the same as, the, uh, as that of interstitial fluid. The lymphatic system it drains into the circulatory system near the junction of the vena cava with the right uh, arteria. Lymph cells like these have valves that to prevent the back follow of a fluid towards the capillaries. Rhythmic contractions of the vessel walls help draw fluid into lymphatic capillaries. Also, like veins, lymph vessels depend mainly on the movement of skeletal muscles to squeeze fluid toward the heart. Along the uh, a lymph vessel are organs called lymph nodes. By uh, filtering the lymph and attacking viruses and bacteria, lymph nodes play an important role in the body's defense. Inside each lymph node is a honeycomb of connective tissue with spaces filled by white blood cells specialized for defense. When the body is fighting an infection, these cells multiply rapidly and the lymph nodes become slower uh, and tender, which is why your doctor checks your neck slowing lymph nodes when you you feel sick. Uh, the lymphatic system helps defend against infection and maintains the volume and protein concentration of the blood. Uh, also, the lymphatic system transports fats uh, from the digestive tract to the circulatory systems. A blood is a connective tissue with cells suspended in a plasma. Um, now we will focus from the tubes and bombs of circulatory systems to the fluids be, uh, being circulated. Invertebrates with open circulation, blood uh, hemolymph is not different from interstitial fluid, however. Blood in the closed circulatory systems of vertebrates is specialized for connective tissue. Blood composition and function. Blood consists of several kinds of cells suspended in a liquid matrix called plasma. After a blood sample is collected, the cells can be separated from plasma by spinning the whole blood in a centrifuge and um, anticoag uh, anticoag uh, co coagulant it must be added to prevent the blood from clotting. clotting. The cellular element cells and cell fragments, which um, occupy about 45% of the volume of blood, Settle to the bottom of the centrifuge tube, forming the dense red pellet. Above this cellular pellet is the transparent straw colored plasma. Plasma. That plasma is about 90% water. Among its many solutes are uh, inorganic salts in the form of dissolved ions, sometimes referred to as blood uh, electrolytes. Uh, the combined concentration of these ions is important in maintaining the osmotic balance of the blood. Some ions also help to buffer the blood, which in humans normally has a pH of 7.4 and the normal functioning of muscles and nerves depends on the concentration of key ions in the interstitial fluid. Uh, which reflects their concentration in a plasma. The kidney maintains plasma electrolytes in a, at precise concentration. Concentrations an example of uh, homeostasis. Another important class of solutes in the plasma proteins, which have many functions collectively, they act as buffers against pH changes, help maintain the osmotic balance between blood and interstitial fluid and contribute to the blood's uh, viscosity thickness which means that various types of plasma proteins also have specific functions some are as cords for lips which are insoluble 
in water and can travel in blood only when bound to proteins. Another class of proteins, the immunoglobulins, globulins or antibodies, help combat viruses and other foreign agents that invade the body. And the plasma proteins, called um, um, fi uh, fibronogens, fibronogens are clotting factors that help block legs. Legs when blood vessels are injured, um, uh, blood to plasma help block legs, uh, uh, plasma from which these clotting factors have been removed is called serum. Plasma also contains a wide variety of substances in, trans, uh, in transit from one part of the body to another, including nutrients, metabolic wastes, respiratory gases, and hormones, blood plasma, and, uh, and tristitial fluid are similar in composition, except that plasma has a much higher protein concentration. Capillary walls, remember, are not very permeable to proteins. Uh, cellular elements uh, suspended in blood plasma are two classes of cells. Red blood cells, which transport oxygen, and white blood cells, which function in defense. A third cellular elements, uh, platelets, are fragments of cells that are involved in the clotting process. Erythrocytes. Red blood cells or erythrocytes are by far the most numerous blood cells, each microliter. Uh, or milli, uh, milliliter uh, cube uh, of a human, blood contains 5 to 6 million red cells, and there are about 25 trillion of these cells in the body's 5 liter of blood. Uh, erythrocytes are an excellent example of uh, the close relationship between structure and function. Their main function of O2 transport depends on rapid diffusion of O2 across their um, a plasma membrane. Human erythro erythrocytes are small discs, about seven to eight point five uh, micrometer uh, in diameter, that are um, by con uh, by concave uh, thinner uh, in the center than at the edges. Their small size and by concave. Uh, shape provide a large collective surface area for the total pop, uh, population of erythrocytes and the greater or the total area of erythrocytes membrane in a given volume of blood. The more rapidly O2 can diffuse mammalian erythrocytes lack nuclei, an unusual characteristic that leaves more space in these tiny cells for homog uh, homoglobin or the ion-containing protein that sells or that transports oxygen. Erythrocytes also lack um, mitochondria and generate their ATP exclusively by uh, anaerobic uh, metabolic oxygen transport by uh, oxygen transport by erythrocytes would be less efficient efficient if their own metabolism were aerobic and consumed some of the oxygen they carry. Despite its small size, an erythrocyte contains about 250 million molecules of homoglobin. Since each homoglobin binds up to four molecules of O2, uh, one erythrocyte can transport about to a billion O2 molecules. Researchers have found that homoglobin also binds the uh, gaseous a molecule nitric oxide or in O as well as O2 as uh, erythrocyte pass through the capillary beds of lungs, gills, or other respiratory organs. O2 diffuses into the erythrocytes where hemoglobin binds O2 and in O2 in O in the um, systemic capillaries hemoglobin and loads O2 which then diffuses into body cells. The NO relaxes the capillary walls, allowing them to expand, which probably helps deliver O2 to the cells. Um, leukocytes. The blood contains five major types of white blood cells or leukocytes, monocytes, neutrophils, uh, pasophils, um, uh, ios, uh, ionophils, and lymphocytes. Their collective function uh, is to fight infections. For example, monocytes and neutrophils are phagocytes, which
which engulf and digest bacteria uh, and uh, debris from the body's own dead cells. Lymphocytes develop into specialized B cells and T cells which produce the immune response against foreign substances. White blood cells spend most of their time outside the circulatory system patrolling through interstitial fluid and the lymphatic system where most of the battles against pathogens are waged. Uh, normally, a uh, macroliter of a human blood has about 5,000 to 10,000 uh, leukocytes, but their numbers increase uh, temporarily whenever the body is fighting an infection. Platelets. The third cellular elements of a blood platelets are fragment, uh, or fragments of cells about 2 to 3 micrometer in diameter. They have no nuclei and originate as benched of uh, cytoplasmic fragments of large cells in the bone marrow. Platelets then uh, enter the, the blood and function in the important process of the blood clotting. Uh, stem cells and the replacement of cellular elements. The cellular elements of blood, erythrocytes, leukocytes, and platelets wear out and are replaced constantly throughout a person's life. Erythrocytes, for example, usually circulate for only three to four months and then are destroyed by phagocyte cells in the liver and spleen. Uh, and spleen enzymes digest uh, uh, the old cells macromolecules and biosynthetic process constructing new macromolecules using many of the monomers such as amino acid harvested from the old blood cells as well as new materials and energy from food. Many of the ion atoms derived from the homoglobin in old erythrocytes are incorporated into new homoglobin molecules. Erythrocytes, leukocytes, and platelets. Platelets are uh, all developed from a common source, a single population of cells called uh, pluripotent stem cells in the red marrow of bones, particularly the ribs, uh, vertebrate, breast bone, and pillars. Pluripotent means that uh, the Uh, these cells have the potential to differentiate into any type of blood cells or into cells that produce platelets. Pluripotent stem cells arise in the early embryo and the population uh, renew, uh, renews itself while replenishing the blood with cellular elements. A negative, feedback, a negative feedback mechanism sensitive to the amount of also reaching the body's tissues via the blood controls uh, erythrocyte production uh, if the tissues do not receive enough O2. The kidneys, uh, or the kidney synthesizes and secretes a hormone called erythro, um, uh, uh, erythrobiotin. EBO, which stimulates production of erythro uh, erythrocytes if the blood is delivering more O2, then the tissues can use the level of EPO falls and uh, erythrocyte production slows. Physicians use a synthetic erythro um, erythropoietin to treat people with health problems such as anemia, a condition of lower than normal hemoglobin levels, however. Some athletes uh, abuse APO by injection, injecting themselves with the drug to increase their uh, erythrocyte levels. This uh, practice, known as blood doping, is banned uh, by the International Olympic uh, Committee and other sports federations. In 22, several athletes competing in the Winter uh, Olympics in Salt Lake City tested positive for APO-like uh, chemicals and as a result were striped of some of their medals. Recently, researchers succeeded uh, uh, in uh, isolating uh, pluripotent stem cells and growing these cells in laboratory sculptures um, uh, purified. Uh, pluripotent stem cells uh, may soon provide an effective 
or an effective treatment for a number of human diseases, including leukemia. A person with leukemia has a cancerous line of the stem cells that will produce leukocytes. The cancer stem has shown this figure. Uh, the the uh, cancer stem cells that produce leukocytes. The cancer stem cells uh, crowd, crowd out, crowd, uh, crowd out cells that make erythrocytes and produce an unusually high number of uh, leukocytes, many of which are abnormal. When experimental treatment for leukemia, uh, leukemia involves removing a pluripotent uh, stem cells from a patient, destroying the bone marrow and restocking it with non-cancer stem cells, as few as 30 of these cells can completely repopulate the bone marrow.